So this is our topic, quotient of powers for all integers m and n and any non-zero number a. So that is a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n. So that is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. Ibig sabihin, if we are going to divide the, uh, the same base, so what will happen to the exponent is we have to subtract the exponent. Okay, so let's have example number one. Uh, a raised to the power of 5 divided by a raised to the power of 3 or a cube. Ibig sabihin, isubtract natin yan exponent. So, a nako, sorry ha. a raised to the power of 5 minus 3. So, that is equal to a raised to the power of 2 or a squared where a is not equal to 0. Okay? Ibig sabihin yung a dyan is not equal to 0. So, number 2, m to the 6th power, n to the 4th power, divided by m, n. So, si, si, uh, since the same yung kanilang uh, base, so, kailangan natin isubtract yung exponent nila, m, 6, minus 1, merong exponent ng 1 si m dyan, then si n, 4, minus 1, meron ding exponent ng 1 si n, so that is equal to, m, raised to the power of 5, n, raised to the power of 3, or m to the fifth power n cubed. So, this is your final answer sa example number 2, where m and n is not equal to 0. Okay, another one, number 3, 12x to the fifth power y cubed divided by 3x squared y squared. Kailangan na natin i-subtract ang exponent natin dito. And of course, dito si uh, numerical coefficient, i-divide din natin yan. Kaya numerical coefficient sa denominator. So, 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4. Then si x, subtract natin yung exponent. So, 5 minus 2. And y, 3 minus 2. So, yung final answer natin dito, 4, x. Then, subtract natin, 5 minus 2 is 3 or cube. Then y is 3 minus 2 is 1. So, huwag din natin ilagay yung 1 dyan. It is understood na merong y, uh, 1 exponent dito kay y. So, this is your final answer. Okay? Si x and y is not equal to 0. Bye-bye.